Sometimes you just need a barn burner of a workout and that's exactly what you're gonna get with me today in this 30 minute step up workout where we are going to take intervals, tweak them and turn them up just a bit so that you can get a great workout, feel great and just hit it for 30 minutes. Let's do it together, come on, let's go. The only thing that I really need you to know today is how to set your monitor to make sure that we've got the intervals set up appropriately. But other than that, we're not gonna mess around with anything and we're just gonna get right into the workout. So let's talk about the monitor setup. From the main menu, on my Concept 2, again, you can use any machine that you want that will work for this workout, no problem. But from the Concept 2, we're going to go from the main menu to select workout, that's the B button, new workout, D button, intervals, that's the D button, intervals time, that's the B button. We're gonna change it to eight minutes, that's the B button, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Then I'm gonna hit that right arrow, A, one, two, three, four times. That's going to take me down to the rest time area and I'm gonna hit that plus button B twice. One, two, and that gives me eight minutes on, two minutes off. We're gonna do that three times through and each eight minutes is going to be a step up which you need to follow along with me so make sure that you are engaged and jumping into this workout because I'm gonna lead you through it as we go. And then the only other thing to know is that during that two minutes of rest, it's active rest. So we're gonna just row lightly together. We're not gonna stop. We'll just take that two minutes of active rest before we jump into the next eight minute interval. Make sure that you're warmed up, ready to go, and excited for this workout. And with that being said, let's hit that check mark. Let's do the workout. Strapping in, grabbing that handle, and three, two, one, go. Okay, we're into this thing now. We're gonna start out stroke rate 22 for our first two minutes. So I want you to just settle in with me at a 22. I'm gonna lead that rate for you. Just think light and quick turnaround at the catch. There's two minutes to go here at this 22. Aren't you excited to know what the rest of the step ups are? <laughs> All right, maybe you're guessing. I don't know, kudos to you if you are then you know me well. Ooh, I'm a little antsy in my pantsy, a little high on rate here. Keep bumping it up to a 23. All right, Shane, chill out. We're gonna have a good one today, guys. I'm excited for this and I feel it. You know, some days you just feel like you got the juice. You're just ready to have a good one? Today feels like that. I got the juice for you. Okay. That rhythm is being set at that 22. You're following along with me. Three eight minute intervals. Now's the time to really think about your intention. What brought you here today? What's having you do this 30 minute workout? Okay, we're getting ready. We're gonna make a shift here. We're going up to 24 for two minutes. And 24, here we go. Two beats up. Do it light and quick. Make sure that that split drops a little bit. You don't want that split to be climbing. You want it to be dropping with every step up the staircase. Am I going too far with my analogy? Think about that handle moving straight in, straight out. Here we go. Light and quick, accelerating the handle through the drive and then find that relaxation during your recovery. That part's really important, that you actually learn how to recover through each stroke so that you aren't wasting energy. Because if you're pulling yourself forward every stroke, that gets exhausting. Way too much energy expenditure in a part of the stroke where you can't actually do anything. Nobody wants that. 24 is feeling good. Take a wild guess where we're going next. B 
Feel the rhythm hang long off of your arms. We're gonna shift up 26 here for two minutes. On this one, let's do it. 26. Gonna have to increase the speed of that recovery. And then I wanna be thinking about faster accelerated drives to compensate as well. There we go. Takes me a bit to step up occasionally. Staying light on your feet here. Brace through the core to help you connect to the handle. You've got this. Why are you here? Don't take any strokes off. You got built-in rest in this workout. Every stroke should count. Here we go. We're really in the heart of this thing now. This is interval one, up three. You got this. Try to keep those wrists neutral. No crazy cranking on the handles. Okay, getting ready to step up. Guess where we're going. 28. On this one. Let's go. There it is. Do it together. More accelerated drive. Ooh, come on, Shane. I'm at a 27, let's do it. Let your breathing be rhythmic, just like the stroke rate. That's hugely important. Stay at this 28. For this round, but every round's gonna be different. Light and quick. Easy. Woo. We pushed there, huh? So, this is gonna be a light, consistent recovery. Here's where you focus on mechanics. That's the big point that you wanna drive home with your body. Is making sure that when you're tired, 
That's when you focus on the good mechanics. Work on your handle height. Work on your posture. Make sure you're not doing anything crazy that doesn't look like what you want that perfect stroke to look like. Because often we just kind of let ourselves get away with it. We're like, oh, I'm tired. Just let my mechanics go. No way. Stay on top of it here, okay? Ooh, that was a good first set. Only two more of those to go. <laughs> Eight minutes goes pretty quick when you're following along, huh? So just nice, easy mechanics. No pressure on the handle. We're just moving. Just so that you don't freeze up. Last thing you want is your legs to start getting locked in the middle of a workout. No fun. No fun. So again, I mentioned each interval is gonna be different, so you gotta check in because this workout is not gonna stay the same for each eight minutes. Ten seconds until we start our next round. We're gonna start this one at a 16. Low and slow, my friends. Here we go. Just came off that hot and heavy on the stroke rate. Now we're taking it down and focusing on power. So we're still on these intervals. Ooh, 17, bring it down, Shane. So we're still on intervals, right? Still gonna be climbing each round. But now, if you were thinking you were thriving in the last one with high stroke rates, now I'm taking you down. Taking away that magic superpower of high stroke rate and making you put more power into each stroke. There it is, Jesus. My body's still tuned to those high rates. Trying to hit me at a 17. There it is. So check in with your body right now. How are you feeling? Are you breathing efficiently? Are you feeling locked in? What parts of your body are you feeling? Are you doing the best that you can on every stroke where you're analyzing mechanics, where you're pushing the machine away, trying to bring the split down, regardless of what the stroke rate is? I love low stroke rates. By the way, I think they're great for these long workouts. So this one's playing almost a little bit to my favor because <laughs> I love them so much. But don't worry, you'll get yours. I'll give you a shot. We're going up to an 18 here on this one. So a little bit more freedom and stroke right now. Make sure you're bracing through the midline, pushing the machine away. Nobody's leading with their heads. Nobody's leading with their shoulders. You're pushing your butt away from the machine. That's where your power comes from. Because you are powerful. Those legs haven't been carrying you your whole life for nothing. They're priming you to do this. They're priming you to push on this machine. They were like, you know what? Someday we're gonna get a rower. We're gonna need these legs. Why do you think we walk around with our legs instead of our arms? Because we need to push the rowing machine away instead of pull it. That's why. Settling in at your 18, feeling your legs. Two 
feeling good now. I mean, I'm feeling good because I love low stroke rates. Maybe you're not feeling the same way, but that's okay. You had the advantage last time. If you're not feeling the power, straighten your elbows, brace from your midline, all before you push on the feet. We're going up to 20 on this one. Here's where you breathe. Watch as your breathing rhythm shifts, as the stroke rate shifts. Learn from everything you do. That's a life metaphor too, not just rowing. Learn from life, my friends. Everyone can teach you something about yourself, about your opinions. If you're the smartest person in the room, something's wrong. Always surround yourself with those people smarter and who have differing opinions from you. You will learn a lot. Smarter is subjective, by the way. So, you know, explore that realm. Third step up of four. Make sure you're breathing. Good. I'm getting quiet because I'm getting tired. Push with me here. Stepping up to a 22 on this. Here we go. I gotta work on my own posture. I felt it. Let's lay back. Better brace the catch. I'm talking to myself. Maybe it's beneficial for you too. Do it together. On rate with me. Drive more power through the legs. That's what this piece is about. Power right now. You're doing so good. Come on. that finish line. Every stroke. All right, here we go, recovery. Two minutes active recovery. Maybe dry your hands. Get that sweat off. Get prepped and ready to go. Keep that body moving for your sake. Not for mine. You know, it's not important to me what you do. 
but it's what you take away from what you do in these moments. When it gets tough, when you're tired, are you somebody who stands up, makes the improvement, makes the change? Are you the one that's reliable when things get hard for everyone else? Or do you shrink out, go into the shadows, hoping that somebody else does it? Those are the questions to ask yourself. That's what rowing is great at exposing. That's why so many people love it. It's just you and the machine. So much mindset involved. It's crazy. Getting ready for our last piece here. be real hot and warm by now. Legs might be a little toast from that power session just now. It's okay. You're gonna push through. You will survive, as will I. Getting ready to go. Getting ready to pick it up. What are we gonna do? And two, one, here we go. 24, my friends. Let's do it, 24. Keep it light and quick. This one's gonna bring the heart rate up a little bit. So a little bit less power now, and a little bit more heart rate. Thinking light, fast. Your goal, match me on stroke right here. This one's gonna take a lot of my focus. I don't like running high stroke rates like this, so. <laughs> you're, you're not gonna get my 100% coaching effort here. I'm just going to be focused on hitting rate for you. Yeah, if I go quiet, that's why. Because I'm just trying, giving you my all, trying to hold rate. I'm trying to stay light. Try not to overpower. Because overpowering right now, it's gonna come to bite me in the butt when the rates climb. I need to be able to stay light and fast. And if I push power, my speed is gonna suffer. Speed is my friend in this piece. And by my friend, I mean your friend. Light, airy, and quick. Keep that mentality. It's your mantra, your rowing mantra for this run. I am light. I am airy, I am fast. Taking it up, 26 on this one. With speed. Focus goes right in on rate. Follow along with me. Keep that handle moving straight in, straight out. Even when rate climbs, don't let your mechanics fall apart. No time for sloppy catches. It's gotta be quick at the turn. Feeling good. We're doing this together. I'm feeling good because you're feeling good. Because you're here with me. Without you, I would not be enjoying myself. Remember, you're doing this for you, not me, not anyone else. You're doing it for you. You are the only thing you can control. Nobody else, nothing else, just you.
another shift. Keeping that feeling of light and quick. On this one, 28. Remember, don't overpower. Be quick and step. I go quiet. Here's where you focus. Together, guys, come on. One more jump up. Getting ready to go. On this one. Final minute. Wowzers. Uh. <clears throat> Join me for this two minutes. Light and easy. You guys keep going. I'm gonna debrief. So, ah. Uh, that. Was an excellent workout. You had to have enjoyed that, and you better be feeling cooked right now. I know I am. Guys, make sure don't just walk away from the machine after this. 
you definitely want to cool down. So come join me in this cool down workout where you're gonna get five minutes. Just wind your body down from this. Take the edge off the intensity and make sure that you go on your way feeling great. And if you're new here, if this is your first workout, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing not doing that? And the bell next to it, because then you're gonna get alerted when we come out with new workouts just like this, when I come out with new workouts just like this, and you get to follow along. See you in the cool down.